Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Car X Drift Racing 2 with Brogue Hammer Auto House. Today's episode is all about how to quickly make as much silver and gold as possible. Um, there's about six different ways to do that. So here we go. We're going to start off with the XDS tandems. Um, this is one that I didn't really realize existed for a little while after I got the game until um, I kind of dug a little deeper. Seems very obvious, but I just didn't notice it and I didn't realize it was a good way to make gold. And pretty much every single way um, or every single track, I should say, in this section is all about making gold. And there is some silver reward to that as well. But um, it's really easy to start with the parking uh, structure area. This first, you know, tandem, it, it's gonna reward me, I think, three gold for this particular one. And it's super short and super fast. Um, you just lay down a good line uh, with whatever tier vehicle it, it is requiring you to do that for. Um, and then you're gonna chase with ideally the same vehicle because you're gonna get the best chase tandems out of that. Um, these are great for practicing, uh, you know, tandems for when you're playing online in the top 32s and all that as well. Um, but you'll see if you get a combined score of 195 or higher, you get three gold as well as $1,200 um, or 1,200 silver, as I should say. So that's my first tip. Um, there's a couple tracks and you can go through every single track. They have a bunch of layouts um, and it's a really easy way to do it. Um, and build up that gold. Next is the multiplayer. Um, this one takes a little bit longer, a little bit more time consuming, um, and you gotta work up through the divisions. So you start at the bottom, um, I think it's called the Junior Work you know, Pro Expert all the way up. And these races are fun. They help you with tandems as well, even though it's not meant for that. Um, it, it doesn't have anything to do with proximity, how close you are, where you are with, you know, accordance to this other player. But you basically just wanna score the highest possible score um, on the given track that they put you on. This one does take fuel as well, so you know it's one that you gotta kinda check back in after your fuel recharges, or for me, I guess you can watch some ads and, and get your fuel back up that way. But uh, here you can see, kind of chasing them down a little bit. You just wanna have as much speed, as much angle as possible. It's gonna get you the most amount of those DP points um, in order to win the battle. And then, <clears throat> as you see when we finish up here, um, I messed up at the end of the run, but it didn't matter because I already had enough enough points. So this one rewards you, I think, $2,000. Yep, $2,000 directly. And from there, you're gaining time and, and you're getting higher in that ranking or your rating to get up to the next division. However, if you lose these races, you also lose points towards the next division. So the idea is to win as many as possible without losing. And the best thing about those is that you're gaining, you know, 30, 40, 50 gold um, every time you upgrade from one division to the next. Um, so it's a quick way to gain a lot of gold in order to buy some of those vehicles that might cost, you know, 400 gold. It takes a while to get up to that amount. So uh, the next best place is the events. Um, this is by far the one that I use the most to gain gold as well as cash. They're new every couple days. Um, there's just a ton, uh, you can get tires in there as well, which helps you save money, not having to buy a bunch of tires all the time. Uh, and a lot of the times in these two, they have cars that you can win. They have body kits, um, they have tuning upgrades, a lot of these specialty vehicles that you can't just purchase, or they say, you know, get this vehicle in an event. Uh, you have to wait until it kind of comes around up in these events where it's part of the reward. And typically they're, Closer towards the end of the rewards, when you get up closer to the thousand um, tokens, I want to call them. They're the, the blue things that you get for completing these. Uh, so as long as you end with an R1 on your run, you'll get five automatically of those blue tokens. And then obviously, like I had mentioned with the certain tasks like quick initiation, they often have speed side changing, big angle, large angle, backwards. Um, awesome drifting and if you ever see those on there and you're not quite sure what exactly they stand for or how to achieve those tasks you can hit there's a little blue eye when you're in the menu that you can click on and it'll tell you exactly uh, what it is so quick initiation you have to be over 95 kilometers per hour in order to get that um, and then that'll help you if you get confused because I didn't for a while know exactly how fast I need to be going for a quick initiation or for a high speed side change you know i think it's 120 kilometers an hour so um, that can really matter uh, it's hard to get a task if you don't know what it is 
I also like these career modes, um, of the campaign. It's really fun to go through those tasks. It's good for training, helping you learn certain things and um, try to do specific things on purpose uh, while you're driving. It helped me a lot when I was uh, starting out to go through those and kind of learn my way through. Uh, also on the single player end, uh, you know, they always have those tasks where it says, you know, drive the Atlas GT and get a big angle or get a speed side change or get two or whatever. And when you finish those, it's great because you get a ton of silver on top of the fact that you already get the silver for, you know, finishing with a certain rank. Um, you get an additional on top of that. And then if you like to watch the ads, you can get another, you know, 2,500 bucks on top of that. So you can get $8,000 of silver just for that one race. Um, the airfield and San Palazzo are both really good. They're long tracks, but they pay out, you know, a couple thousand dollars for finishing, you know, R1, R2, R3. And when you combine that with those tasks to complete, it can really jump up the amount of silver that you can make, you know, really fast. So that's a great way to make silver as well. There used to be a little bit more gold in those that you could win in the single player races, but they don't seem to do that much anymore. Lastly, if you go to your profile tab in the very top, you can see the yellow circle that's at the very top middle of the screen um, and you click on achievements. This is another thing I didn't really know that much about until I started getting achievements, um, but there's always gold rewards, there's cash rewards, and some of them, if you look, you know, maybe you have bought quite a few tracks and you're only one track away from getting a $20,000 reward from an achievement and the track might cost you $5,000. Well, just buy the track and then you get the reward from your achievements and you move on. Um, the other way too, the fans make a big difference as far as how much you're making per race. So you can see when you go to your fans page there, it tells you the percentage increase of the payouts that you get each time. So I've got 825,000 fans, uh, pays me out plus 50% on everything. So gaining those fans is really important. And a lot of the ways to gain that is through single player. Uh, you'll see when you're looking at certain races that uh, it'll show kind of like the purple text. Um, it's always labeled on the top, you know, when you're looking at each track and then here, right below where it says ranks on the screen there, see the purple. So, you know, if you finish in the top, you know, whatever, you'll get a good amount of fans for that. Once you do enter these races, you have to complete the race um, that exact time. Otherwise, if you back out or restart, you'll actually lose the fans. So you won't get those anymore. Um, you also gain fans for winning, you know, top 32s online or, um, getting further into those. So let me know what you guys think of today's video. Um, I know I went through kind of a lot very quickly, but leave a comment below if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Have a good one guys.